So this question is a simplify question, right? So I, I typically say that any question that is one to three lines long, I'm going to categorize as a uh, simplify question. And all that means is it's really preferential for you to simplify the question before you attempt to answer the question. And what that means in this particular question is we have this equation n minus one inside absolute value plus one is equal to zero. So a little bit of translation here, but we know what equals means and you know, everything is, is set up pretty nicely for us. So before I start looking at the answer choices, what I'm going to do first is to simplify this. So to simplify a absolute value question, you want to isolate the absolute value. So I'm going to have absolute value in minus one. I'm going to subtract one from both sides and I'm going to end up with equals negative one. So here we have a bit of a problem and hopefully you spot it. If not, I'll walk you through it. What does absolute value mean? Well, the absolute value means that whatever quantity you arrive at after simplifying what is inside of the absolute value, in this case, n minus 1, will always, 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 always be positive, right? So absolute value, I'm going to say, of anything, right? So I'm just write the word anything inside equals a positive value, right? You'll never get a negative value out of taking the absolute value of something. So what we have here is the opposite of that. So when I look at the answers, the only one that makes sense would have to be choice D, that there is no such value of N, right? No matter what I plug inside of this N, I can never get a negative number if I take the absolute value. So that's, that's how I would do it. Now, you could also treat this question like a plug-in answer question or PIA. Now, what that means is we, net, we know that we have this equation in minus 1 plus 1 equals 0. And we know that all of the, at least these three, right, represent n values. So I can just test them out, right? So when n equals 0, what happens? If you plug it in, you'll see that that should give you 2. So not 0, which means a is out. If n were to equal 1, what would happen? Again, if you plug that in, you'll see that that gives you a value of positive 1. So that's also not 0. And then lastly, if n were to equal 2, we would get, so if n equal 2, we would get a value of 2. So also not 0, right? So that would also lead you to believe that there is no such value of n. So we went over two ways, plug in answers, which is perfectly fine. <clears throat> simplifying, which is my preference, but that's just me, do what works best for you. Um, both of these answers or both of these processes get you to the right answer.